Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway channel. Today, we will discuss the benign cystic teratoma, or it's named also mature cystic teratoma. And by definition, this is a benign germ cell tumor uh, that has at least uh, two embryonic layers. And I mean by this, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and the endoderm. Uh, the ectoderm may present as skin or skin appendages. We have the mesoderm as skeletal muscles, cartilages, uh, bone, adipose tissue. And the endoderm, it's the endothelial lining, which can be the GI lining, the respiratory, or even the thyroid uh, tissue. So um, this uh, case came as a smooth uh, cystic uh, or a, a smooth cyst, ovarian cyst uh, on uh, the gross uh, examination. And on the microscopic, this is what we are going to describe today. So from the low power we have here, we are on the 5X. And from this power, I can already see some uh, glands here. Uh, which I assume it's a sebaceous gland. So let's move a bit and see if we can find any skin, yes. So we have from this power, this is skin. So this is the ectoderm part. And we have also here the skin appendages, which are the sebaceous glands. And maybe we have here one hair uh, follicle. We are gonna see this under high power, but just from the low power to have an idea about this uh, slide. So again, let's move. So I hope also you can appreciate these bundles of uh, smooth muscles that are running here. So if this, these are smooth muscles, so here we fulfilled the other um, second part, which is the mesoderm. And let's move more. I think the third component, the endoderm, we will see it under the high power. So all these are just smooth muscles. And this is, as we mentioned, the skin with the appendages. And let's go if we can see more components from this power. Again, here all are all like the smooth muscle bundles or inflammation going on here. Here we have also this um, adipose tissue, this white area or vacuolated uh, lipid filled cells. So these are the adipose tissues. And this is one hair follicle here. So by this we have the ectodermal part, which is represented in the skin and the skin appendages. We have the mesoderm represented in the adipose tissue and the smooth muscles. And we still need to see the endodermal part, which I will show to you. I just highlighted with this dot to see what do we have here. Let's go at a higher power. These, by the way, on this power, these are smooth muscles uh, cut in a cross section. These are just some inflammatory cells. So with this power, we are now at the 20X. And from this power, we can see the third part, which is the endoderm. We can see here some uh, epithelium or epithelial lining, and we can see this uh, cilia. And maybe this is a respiratory um, uh, epithelium. So in summary here, we have uh, the endoderm. We have, if we moved in this direction, I hope we will have um, the skin. And we have this sebaceous uh, glands and the skin, and we saw the smooth muscles. So this is the slide for the mature cystic teratoma. If you like this video, please uh, like and share it and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.